Hi, Ben. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, it's been a, a lot of fun talking with you over the years and uh, looking forward to talking with you and sharing your story a little bit with the rest of our kind of global community. Um, how you doing, man? Uh, it's been been good, but man, it's just not enough hours in the day. I'm sure you know what that's like. <laughs> I hear you. I think we should petition Trump for 28-hour days. Um, you You'd think do he, it. he doesn't understand the math, so... <laughs> So Ben, kind of tell me a little bit about yourself and what you guys are doing now at Canvas VC. <clears throat> sure. So my background sort of heavily on the entrepreneurial side. I was an entrepreneur for 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, my last company was fashionmall.com, which I started in 93. It was one of the first five e-commerce companies in the world. Took that public in 99, then ended up taking it private. The bubble burst pretty shortly after IPO. So we had a lot of capital, but we didn't have a lot of appropriate uses for it that we could see taking us back to that glorious state of profitability, which we'd actually been in pre-IPO, which on its own, uh. I back then. So that was all East Coast, primarily mm -hmm. New York. Moved West, and about 13 years ago now, 2000, uh, not quite that long. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about a little over a decade ago. Started uh. to see this gap between angel and venture. I got here 13 years ago, 10 years ago, I started to see this gap between angel and venture really wanted to fill it. And so I started running a seed practice. I ended up joining a large venture debt shop mm. to run their equity practice, which was almost entirely a seed. So mm -hmm. in 07, 08, that was for when I funded Lending Club, 08, 09, sort of companies like Dropcam, mm. early app players like Check, which was, was then paid once. And over the course of eight years, funded about 80 companies. Uh, half of them were able to raise capital from tier one venture. Nice. Uh, one IPO, a couple billion dollars worth of exits, um, the IPO was Lending Club. It was at the time the largest IPO of its year and actually wow. about a few years. And so that sort of led me to the path of looking at the next level, which is mm -hmm. the way I thought about it, going from seed to series A and B. Mm -hmm. So I ended up joining Canvas, perfect size, really the right fit. Canvas is the go forward group out of Morgan Thaler. Mm -hmm. So Morgan Thaler is a fund that was started in 1968. They ran nine different funds over the course of the 1968 to 2000. 15-ish. Wow. And then the top group out of the technology team, Gary Morgan Taylor, Gary Lill, and Rebecca Lynn, went forward and rebranded as Canvas. Hmm. Gary Morgan Taylor spun out uh, to become an LP versus a GP. And they recruited in Paul Shaw from NEA, who hmm. I had known for a long time. I knew everybody at, at uh, the firm for about eight years before I joined. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul came over from NEA where he'd been for about 10 years. And then I was the most recent, about two years ago, the fourth ad as the fortunate partner. Very and cool. Canvas is this classic Silicon Valley boutique venture shop. It's mm -hmm. Series A and B focused, a little bit around the edges, but that's the sweet spot. You know, take board seats, spend the time, get the ownership, do the work. Classic model. 